Order, order! The defense has a point. Someone who died immediately wouldn't have time to be writing anything down. <clears throat> Mr. Wright, I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain the autopsy report? But, uh, when? You got it the day after the murder. We, we can get this wrong, it doesn't matter. It was the day after the murder. The prosecution point being... My autopsy report is outdated, Your Honor. But what? A second autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. Death was almost immediate due to a blow from a blunt object. But there was still a possibility the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. I received these results this morning. No way! Your Honor, it's quite easy to imagine the victim did have time to ride Maya. That is all. I see. Damn you, Edgeworth. I should have known you'd have something up your sleeve. Why, Mr. Wright, you look shocked. Something you want to say? I'm a sham. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, are you calling me a fool because I believed your report? Huh? Me? I I'm not... Huh? Detective Gumshoe. Er... I'm disappointed in you handling him the handing him the wrong report like that. Uh, I I'm sorry, sir. You're our fault, detective. This isn't going to look good on your evaluation next month. Yeah, for some reason Edgeworth is in charge of um um just that gum shoes paycheck. <laughs> well, what? But but. No. Your Honor, I submit this report to the court. Understood. The court has said this is evidence. Updated autopsy, autopsy report. Well, Your Honor, the evidence is strongly suggests the victim was identified in the killer. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion, yes. Darn, this isn't good. The prosecution would like to call its next witness. This poor, innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. Rabba, 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 rabba. Let the witness, Miss April Bay, take the stand. Exactly what part of her is innocent? New witness times, yay. <clears throat> Sorry, call. Witness your name, please. April May, at your service. Wink. Rabble, rabble, rabble. Order. An introduction should not require any reaction from the crowd. The witness will refrain from what and winking. Oh, yes, Your Honor. This is not good. She's already captured the heart of every man in the court. Tell us, where were you on the night of September 5th when the murder was occurred? When the murder occurred? Um, gee, I was, like, in my hotel room, tee Yeah, okay. I checked in right after lunch. And this uh, hotel is directly across from the Fay and Cole offices. That's right, big boy. Please testify to the court about what you saw. <laughs> testimony time. Alright, here we go. It was like 9 o'clock at night. I looked out the window, you know. And then, ooh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Then the woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. But then, but that girl, she caught up to her and, and she hit her. And the woman with the long hair, she kind of slumped. The end. That's all I saw. Every little bitsy witsy. Wink. <laughs> I like this game. Hmm. Well, Your Honor. I see. It's a remarkably solid testimony. I don't see any need to trouble the witness to to trouble the witness any. Wait, Your Honor. Uh, yes, Mr. Wright. What about my cross examination? I thought the witness's testimony now was quite firm, did you? Didn't you? Mr. Wright, I understand you are Miss uh, Mia Fay's understudy, were you not? You must know her techniques well. 
how, how cowardly we are finding tiny vaults and perfectly good testimonies. Hey, how dare you? Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine the witness? Yes, I'm doing it. I'll gladly proceed with the cross-examination. If, if only because I have a feeling Edward doesn't want me to. She has to have some weakness. Very well, you may begin your cross-examination. <laughs> okay, let's press on every part. It was like 9 o'clock, okay. Why did you do that? Uh, why? Like, why what? Why did you look out the window? Were you expecting to see something? Oh, well, um, gee! What? That's it? She can't get out of this question that easily. I sort of, you know... <laughs> I had a feeling. Well, I have a feeling she's trying to avoid the question. Maybe I should press a little harder on this one. Go for it. Let's see how far I can run with this. Surely you must have a reason to look out your window at that time of night. I... Ooh! Mr. Wright, I will not have you badgering my witness. Badgering? You insist on needling her with these trivial questions. I really don't think you should be. it should be allowed. Yeah, yeah, stop him. The poor girl. Order. Mr. Wright, you have been warned. Poor girl, what about poor me? You looked out the window, what did you see next? <clears throat> And then, ooh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The woman with long hair. That was Mia Fey. Um, ooh, slender, sort of, well, some people might say pretty, if that's your thing. Your thing. And the person attacking her? The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the fitness chair. How do you know she was the defendant? Huh, well, you know. She had a girlish physique. Women know these things. Look, I, I just know, okay? There was only one person at the scene of the crime with a short girlish fixture. The testimony is bulletproof, Your Honor. He's right. I question the testimony. Hold on a minute, that testimony stinks. What? Miss May, I'm willing to bet that you are lying. Are you telling the truth? Did you really see the defendant? Rabble, 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 rabble. Mr. Roy, what's the meaning of this? Yeah, what's the meaning? Somebody tell me because I'm clueless about this, I mean. Okay. If you had really witnessed my client, Maya Faye, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. No one wears clothes like this on a daily basis except her. And I'm no expert on fashion, but I'd say her hair do looks far from normal to me. However, the witness's testimony mentions neither of these things. The testimony is bogus. But, but... Still, we do not know if she was dressed like that the way or the night of the murder. She was, Your Honor. I saw her. And so did Detective Gumshoe. What do you say to that, Miss May? Meow. <coughs> What are you trying to do, you mean lawyer? Or say? I saw what I saw. I just didn't think at all the... The trifling little details were necessary, darling. Miss May, the court would like to remind you to please omit nothing from your testimony. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ron. Hope you could, girl. <clears throat> no, I promise. Uh, I keep losing the voice. You're just a word again if you want. Damn, I almost had it here. This is a count. I did see everything I did. The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran up to the right. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. And she hit her with that weapon. I saw it. I did. That that clock. Um, the kind of statue clock, the thinker, I think? Well, does that act here in late? Does the accuracy of my report not startle you? Do he? <sighs> I see. I only wish you had been so detailed from the beginning. Please begin your the cross examination. It's cross examining time. Hold it. 
So, you saw me then, too? Of course. I remember that spiky hair anywhere. Spiky? The witness will refrain from personal attacks on the defense attorney. Oh, was I a bad girl? I'm so weak. Very well. Continue. Yo. Is that right? Is it your right? As you looked from the hotel? Um, which hand do I hold my knife in again? <laughs> right! My right hand! Right! Satisfied, Mr. Red? Please continue. Hold it. How convenient for you to remember her hippie clothes. That's what you- I mean, that's what she was wearing. Oh, and her hair was like up in a bun. What happened then? Hold it. Where did this weapon come from? She picked it up from the desk. I see. What sort of weapon was it? That that clock, uh, statue clock thinker. Uh, clock. Didn't this come up in another testimony recently? Well, don't look so sour, Mr. Blair. You can't win them all. I have a feeling I'm onto something now. Hmm. However, I just want to know, how would she know that this thing says it looks like a statue, but it's actually a clock? And if there's only two that exist in the world, how would she know that it was a clock? Objection! There we go. Miss May. What you said just now was quite revealing. Revealing? Ooh, you'd like that, wouldn't you, naughty, naughty Mr. Lawyer? You just said that the statue of the thinker was a clock. But there's no way of knowing that just by looking at it. <laughs> Another person in, in much the same position as you recently called this a clock, too. And he was found guilty of murder. Rub, 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 rub. Order, order! Miss May, can you explain how you know this was a clock? Oh. Oh! Erp! Anyway. Objection! Objection! The witness saw the murder with her own eyes, and that's all that's important here. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with trivial concerns. Yes, yes, of course. You will withdraw your question, Mr. Wright. I don't think I will. But questions are all I have, Your Honor. And as you may recall, I've caught murderers with these questions before. We've only had one case. This is the Phoenix. Well, only once. Oh, there you go. Objection sustained. You might continue, your. You might continue to question the witness. The, wi the witness. Whew, that was a close one. If you stop me there, the trial will be over. Oh, uh, what? So, what happens now? What happens now is you answer my question. How did you know it was a clock? What? Th that's... Be because I heard it. Yes, I heard it say the time. So you've been to... You've been to the law offices of Fay and Co. No, 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 no. Hey, I, I didn't say that. Why would I go there? I heard it from my hotel room. Hee <laughs> hee. The law offices of Fay and Co. Where the murder took place are, the very cl are very close to the hotel. She could have easily heard the clock. Hmm, well, Mr. Wright, are you satisfied? Uh-uh. No, Your Honor. I can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because she couldn't have heard it. Oh, whoops. I think I picked the wrong one. You have proof that she could have not have? Amateurs, amateurs, listen to me, Mr. Wright. In the courtroom, proof is everything. Without proof, you have nothing. You are nothing. Now I'd like to propose a test to see if she really could have heard. The prosecution denies your request. What? On what grounds? This is a trivial matter with no direct bearing on this case at hand. Indeed. Objection sustained. Damn. Time to switch directions. Quick. Will you proceed, Mr. Wright? Uh-uh. No, Your Honor. Okay, okay. It couldn't have rung. 
that's the real thing. Your Honor, members of the court, it is inconceivable that the clock in question rang. Um, it's empty. That clock is missing its clockwork! Hang on a second, let me just check something. Okay, I'm back. Oh, how could you possibly? Just have a look, as soon as you can. Oh! See anything interesting, Your Honor? It is as the defense says. This clock is missing its clockwork. It's quite empty. Rob, 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 rob. Mr. Wright, would you care to explain the court the meaning of this? It's as you can. It is as you can see. The clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. Therefore, this witness is a big fat liar. Fat. Well, Miss May. Tisk tisk. I'm quite a show you put on for us, Mr. Wright. He knew the clock was empty somehow. He knew. I'm afraid you'll forget about one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty, as you say. It can't ring. However, we must ask, when was the clockwork removed? If it was after the witness heard the clock, then there was no contradiction. Hmm, that's true. This is a possibility. The clock might have been emptied after she heard it. And that is exactly what happened, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Wright? Can you prove when the clockwork was removed? Ho oh, oh. ho. Impossible, of course. I have proof. <laughs> what? what Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. The evidence that proves when the clockwork was removed? Let's take a look at this conversation. It's actually something I want you to hold on. It's a statue, the thinker tells the time. Um, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. I had to take the clockwork out. That. That's it, right there. Mm. Take, that. take a look at this. Hmm, that's a very cute cell phone. Oh, you have a curly phone. <laughs> wait, wait, this isn't my phone. Listen. This is a defendant's cell phone, and it contains a recording. A recording of the conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. Order, order! The defendant's cell phone? This wasn't brought to my attention. Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it. Ugh, the good detective better remember he's up for evaluation soon. My heart goes out to you, Edgeworth. Not! Let's hear the conversation. This was all red, so... So you just so you just want me to hold on to the thinker for you then? If you could, I should probably tell you the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out, sorry. Your Honor, I think the recording makes it clear that the clockwork was already gone. And this was recorded in the morning before the witness even arrived at her hotel. <laughs> well, Miss May, would you care to explain to this court just how you did know how did you know that the weapon was a clock? Well, 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 well isn't it obvious? I saw that clock before. Um, what store was it at again? I, I go to so many. Oops, I forgot. So the witness has seen that before. That would make sense. Does the defendant have any objections, Mr. Wright? Yes. The witness claimed she had seen it before. But this directly contradicts a piece of evidence that's already submitted to this court. Well, then let's see it. Please proceed, produce the evidence that will prove this witness had not seen the clock before. Let's take a look at this. Fears removed, made by Larry Butts. Only two in the world. Oop. Ha! Ha! There we go. It's simple. This clock was never in any store ever. What? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world. And the one that isn't here is in police custody. 
Yet impossible, everything is sold in stores. Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. Mm. Oh, excuse is not on sale today. Whoa. Hey there guys, if you like this video and you'd like to let me know, there should be a button down there that says like. Go ahead and give that a little click for me. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, then there should be a button down there that says subscribe. Go ahead and give that a little click too if you want. Well, that's about all I got to say. So, see ya. Come in, come in.